Hello students. So in this video, let's continue solving problems on pair of linear equation. So as you can see the heading, reducing to the standard form and then finding the solution. Now, if you observe the question, 9 by x minus 4 by y is equal to 8, 13 by x plus 7 by y is equal to 101. These are the two equations. Remember, these are not linear equations. Okay. These are not linear equations. Can you guess why? Absolutely. Very good. Because the variables x and y are in the denominators. So if you get them to the numerator, it will become 9x power minus 1, 4y power minus 1 is equal to 8. So basically, when we find the degree of the uh, equation or the variable, we always get it to the numerator and then find it. So if you observe now, the power is minus 1. So when do we say a uh, equation is linear if the powers of the variable are plus 1? The highest power should be plus 1. But here it is minus 1. The same thing applies to the second equation. So as you can see here, the equations that they have given are not linear equations. So if they are not linear equations, we cannot apply any of the methods that we have learned so far. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert to the reduced form, I mean standard form. We are going to reduce this to the standard form. That is, we are going to bring this equation in terms of linear equation. Then we are going to solve it. How to do that? So let's learn. Okay. If you observe 9 by x can be simply written as 9 into 1 by x. Isn't it? 9 by x can be written as 9 into 1 by x. Similarly, 4 by y can be written as 4 into 1 by y is equal to 8. The same applies to the next one. 13 by x can be written as 13 into 1 by x plus 7 by y can be written as 7 into 1 by y is equal to 101. Isn't it? So in the next step, now if you observe this properly, 9 into 1 by x minus 4 into 1 by y equal to 8, 13 into 1 by x plus 7 into 1 by y equal to 1 or not. If you observe properly in both the equation, 1 by x is there and in both the equation, 1 by y is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them. I'm going to put 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. Okay. So let's take 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. Okay. Therefore, what we get is the equation reduces to 9. 1 by x will become u as we have taken 1 by x as u minus 4. 1 by y will become v. 9u minus 4v equal to 8. 13 1 by x will become u plus 7 1 by y will become v equal to 101. Now if you observe we have got two equations. What are the variables here? u and v are the variables and if you observe the powers are also 1, isn't it? Therefore, what we have done is we have got a linear equation now in terms of u and v. Okay, We have not got a linear equation in terms of x and y, but we have got linear equation in terms of u and v. That's okay. We can solve this, isn't it? We can solve this linear equation using any of the method. So let me take the uh, elimination method itself. Let's eliminate v. Okay, uh, eliminating v is a bit easy. So if you observe the coefficient of v in first equation is 4 and coefficient of v in second equation is 7. So they are not same. So let's take LCM. So LCM of LCM of 4 and 7 is how much? 28. So to make this 4 as 28, we have to multiply it by 7. And to make this 7 as 28, we have to multiply entire thing by 4, isn't it? So therefore, the equation reduces. 9 7 is 63 u minus 28 v equals 8 7 is 56. 13 4 is 52 u plus 28 v equals 4 not 4. Okay. Now, uh, we need not change the sign. <laughs> Excuse me. We need not change the sign because here it is minus and here it is plus, isn't it? Therefore, we need not change the sign. Directly, we can cancel. Minus 28V plus 28V gets cancelled. 63 plus 52 becomes how much? 115. So, 115 U equals uh, 56 plus 
four not four it becomes four sixty isn't it therefore you will become four sixty by hundred and fifteen so one hundred and fifteen ones are one hundred and fifteen fours are therefore u value is four by one that is four so we got the value of u once we get the value of u the next thing that we have to find is v okay so let's find v let's find v okay let me draw a line to find v let's take the first equation 9u minus 4v equal to 8 9u minus 4 v value is sorry uh, we have found u right so u value is 4 minus 4v equal to 8 9 fours are is 36 36 minus 4v equal to 8 so transpose 4v to other side 8 to the left hand side 36 minus 8 is equal to minus 4v to the right hand side will become plus 4v 36 minus 8 will become 28 is equal to 4v therefore 28 by 4 is equal to v which implies v is equal to 7 so we got the value of v and we got the value of u okay now once we get the value of u and v easily we can find x and y because what is u we have taken u as 1 by x isn't it now what is the value of v u that we got 4 so 4 is equal to 1 by x cross multiply you get 4x equal to 1 or x equal to 1 by 4 you got the value of x same stuff for the v value v is equal to 1 by y what is the v value that we have got we have got it as 7 Therefore, 1 by y is equal to 7. If you reciprocal it or cross multiply, you will get the y value as 1 by 7. Okay. Y value is 1 by 7. So, therefore, here we have got the value of x and y. Remember, the actual equation was not a linear equation. We converted into a linear equation. We converted into a linear equation by substitution. Then we got the value of u and v. Once we get the value of u and v, easily we can find x and y. Okay. So similarly, let's do one more problem. So I have, as you can see, I've taken one more question. We have to apply the same logic here. The given equation is not a linear equation. Therefore, we have to convert it into linear equation. How do we do this? 3 by x can be written as what? 3 into 1 by x minus 1 by y as it is equal to minus 9. And 2 by x can be written as 2 into 1 by x plus 3 by y can be written as 3 into 1 by y equal to 5. So as you can see here, so you can give substitution. Put 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. Therefore, what will the equation become? The equation will become 3u minus 1 by y is v equal to minus 9. 2u plus 3v is equal to 5. Okay. Let me rewrite the equation again here. So what we have got is 3u minus v equal to minus 9. 2u plus 3v is equal to 5. Again, let's solve for v itself. Let's, let's eliminate v. So if you observe the v coefficient in the first equation is 1. Here it is 3. So the LCM of 1 and 3 is 3 itself. So here in the second equation, already you have got 3. So you need not multiply anything. To make this 1 as 3, we have to multiply it by 3. Therefore, the equation will become 9u minus 3v is equal to minus 27. Then uh, nothing is multiplied for the second one. So 2u plus 3v equal to 5. So directly you can eliminate minus 3v plus 3v gets cancelled. 9u plus 2u is 11u. Minus 27 plus 5 is minus 22. Therefore, u will become minus 22 by 11, which implies u value is minus 2. So once you get the value of u, easily we can find v. So let's find v. Uh, to find v, let's take first equation. 3u minus 1v is equal to minus 9. 3 into minus 2 minus 1v is equal to minus 9. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 1v is equal to minus 9. So therefore, Send minus 6 to the other side. Minus 1v is equal to minus 9 plus 6. Therefore, minus 1v is equal to minus 3, which implies v will become 3. Minus and minus gets cancelled. Therefore, v will value of v will be 3. Therefore, here you can find the value of x. U is minus 2. 
but you is 1 by x, isn't it? So minus 2 is equal to 1 by x. Cross multiply, you will get x as minus 1 by 2. Similarly, v is 1 by y. So 1 by y value is 3. So cross multiply, you get y as 1 by 3. So once you find the value, you can also substitute and check it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so similarly, let's do one more problem. You can see a next problem, 5 by x plus y minus 2 by x minus y equal to minus 1, 15 by x plus y plus 7 by x minus y equal to 10. The same logic we are going to apply here. This is not a linear equation. As you can see, the variables are in the denominator. And if the variables are in the denominator, we cannot say it is a linear equation. So let's reduce it to linear equation. So 5 by x plus y can be written as pi into 1 by x plus y and 2 by x minus y can be written as 2 into 1 by x minus y. The same thing applies for the second equation. 15 into 1 by x plus y plus 7 into 1 by x minus y equal to 10. If you observe the first and the second, what is common? In both the equation, we have got 1 by x plus y and 1 by x minus y. So I'm going to give 1 by x plus y as u and 1 by x minus uh, y as v. Therefore, the equation becomes what? 5, 1 by x plus y as u minus 2, 1 by x minus y is v. So substitute v there. So the equation that we have got is 5u minus 2v equal to minus 1. Similarly, we have got 15u plus 7v equal to 10. So the equation that we have got is 5u minus 2v equal to minus 1 and 15u plus 7v is equal to 10. Let's eliminate u. So the coefficient are 5 and 15. So let's take the LCM. LCM of 5 and 15 is 15 itself. So this is already the second equation has already have 15. So let me multiply only the first equation by 3 so that you get 15. 5 threes are 15 u minus 6 v equal to minus 3. Second equation, we are not multiplying anything. So as it is, we will write it as it is. Now, both the numbers have got same sign plus and plus. So we have to change the sign plus will become minus again, plus will become minus again, plus will become minus plus 15 u minus 15 u gets cancelled minus 6 v and the new sign is minus. So minus 7 v minus 6 v minus 7 v is minus 13 v. Minus 3 minus 10 is minus 13. Therefore, V value will become minus 13 by minus 13. Let me write it again. V values minus 13 by minus 13. Both gets cancelled. We will get the value of V as 1. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's find the value of U. So let's take the first equation. What is first equation? 5U minus 2V is equal to minus 1. So 5u minus 2 v value is 1 equal to minus 1, which implies 5u is equal to minus 1 plus 2. Therefore, you get v, uh, let me write it here. Therefore, we get u value as 5u is equal to 1, which implies u value is 1 by 5. So we have got the value of u and v. Now observe. Still, we have not found the value of x and y. Let's find that. Now, u is 1 by 5. We have got u is 1 by 5. But what is u? u is 1 over x plus y. Is it from substitution? So, cross multiply x plus y is equal to 5. So, let's take this as equation. Uh, 2, uh, let's take it as 3. The first, the, in the question, what they've given is 1 and 2. Let's take this as 3. So, we have got a new equation now. Similarly, v is equal to 1, but what is v? 1 by x minus y equal to 1. This 1 can be written as 1 by 1. Cross multiply, you will get x minus y is equal to 1. Equation 4. Now, if you observe, you have got two equations. Equation 3 and equation 4. Solve this equation 2 and equation, equation 3 and equation 4. Let me solve it here. Let me solve it in this place. So, what we have got is x plus y is equal to 5. x minus y is equal to 1. Let's solve it plus y minus y gets cancelled. Therefore, 2x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6, which implies x is 3. Uh, if x is 3, substitute in equation 1, x plus y is equal to 5, 3 plus y is equal to 5, which implies y will become 5 minus 3, which is 2. Therefore, the value of x and y is 3 and 2. I hope it is clear. It's very similar to the previous problem that we've solved. Okay, everything is same. But here, after you find the value of u and v, in the previous problem, directly we were getting the answer of x and y. But here, Instead of getting the answer of x and y, we are getting equations. So solve these equations, we will get the answer. 
So as you can see, I've solved one more problem over here. Uh, 3 by x plus y plus 2 by x minus y is equal to 2. That 3 by x plus y can be written as what? 3 into 1 by x plus y plus 2 into 1 by x minus y is equal to 2. Same thing applies for the next one. So 9 into 1 by x plus y minus 4 into 1 by x minus y is equal to 1. So if you substitute 1 by x plus y as u <coughs> and 1 by x minus y is v, so what do we get? We get the equation as 3u plus 2v is equal to 2 as I have written here, 9u minus 4v equal to 1. So all this, you will get the value of v and u. Once you get the value of u and v, you will get two equations. As you can see here, we have got two equations after solving for v and u. From here, solving this, we will get the value of x and y. So there is one more question, which you can take it as a task and solve it. Okay. Sixth one, same thing. You have to give substitution. And once you give substitution, you will get the value of u and v. After finding u and v, you will get two more equations. Solve it, you will get the value of x and y. I hope you have understood when to use this method. That is reducing it to the standard form. Whenever a given equation is not in the standard form, we have to convert it into standard form. There are uh, some more examples like this. For example, equations like this, 5 by root x plus 2 by root y is equal to 10, 3 by root x plus 2 by root y is equal to 9. So again, this is not a linear equation because uh, basically x and y are in the denominator. This itself tells that this is not a linear equation. So we have to convert into linear equation by the same method which we are following now. Okay. Or sometimes you can also have equations like this 5x plus 2y is equal to 6xy and 3x plus 4y is equal to 9xy. Okay. Now, if you observe, uh, xy doesn't come in product. Remember in linear equation, xy doesn't come in product, isn't it? So therefore, but here you have got xy. So therefore, this is not a linear equation. So how do you convert it into linear equation? I mean, divide throughout by xy. Okay, if you divide throughout by xy, see xy, xy gets cancelled. Here y and y gets cancelled. Here x and x gets cancelled. Therefore, you'll get it like this. Y, 5 by y plus 2 by x is equal to 6. Now, this is like the first problem that we solved, isn't it? In the first problem, if you remember, the question was like this. 2 by x, let me rearrange. 2 by x plus 5 by y is equal to 6. This 2 by x can be written as what? 2 into 1 by x. 5 by y can be written as 5 into 1 by y equal to 6. The same thing applies for the second equation. Okay. Uh, then substitute 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. Then you will get the value of u and v. Once you get the value of u and v, you can easily find the value of x and y. So I hope you guys have understood this. So in the next video, we'll be starting with statement problems on this chapter. Okay. Thank you, students.